Welcome to Christine's Musings, where she shares thoughtful moments from her day. Christine's Musings, June 13th, 2022. Circles. Featured image, Circle of Life. Circles appeared in my work for as long as I can remember being serious about art, myself and my life and how I live it. I visualize the circle in many ways, open, concentric and open, lopsided, fat and skinny. The circle has symbolism attached to it. Here are a couple of quotes from online websites. The circle is a universal symbol with extensive meaning. It represents the notions of totality, wholeness, original perfection, the self, the infinite, eternity, timelessness, all cyclic movement, God. God is a circle whose center is everywhere and whose circumference is nowhere. A circle represents evolution as a process of transformation from death to birth, ending and beginning, as a circle has no beginning and no end. In this sense, a circle represents eternity. In many customs and spiritual beliefs, a circle represents the divine, life force, or spirit that keeps our reality in motion. It is symbolic of vitality, wholeness, completion, and perfection. For me, circles contain energy and are the heart of all things, the beginning and the self. If the circle is concentric, with or without breaks, within the circles themselves, the outer circles represent my friends and connections. I think of my life this way, as a radiating circle. Today the sun is gloriously shining on my face, the trees and the woods are budding, and the sky is blue and vast. The circle of life is beautiful today. I am linking the image I painted in about 1990 called the circle of life. June 14th, 2022, Glorious Peacock. Featured image, peacock. Peafowl is a common name for three bird species in the genera Pavo and Afropavo within the tribe Pavonini of the family Basianidae, the pheasants and their allies. Male peafowl are referred to as peacocks and female peafowl are referred to as peahens, even though peafowl of either sex are often referred to colloquially as peacocks. The two Asiatic species are the blue or Indian peafowl, originally of the Indian subcontinent, and the green peafowl of Southeast Asia. The one African species is the Congo peafowl, native only to the Congo Basin. Male peafowl are known for their piercing calls and their extravagant plumage. The latter is especially prominent in the Asiatic species, which have an eye-spotted tail or train of covert feathers, which they display as part of a courtship ritual. The functions of the elaborate iridescent coloration and large train of peacocks have been the subject of extensive scientific debate. Charles Darwin suggested that they serve to attract females, and the showy features of the males had evolved by sexual selection. More recently, Amitz Zahavi proposed in his handicap theory that these features acted as honest signals of the male's fitness since less fit males would be disadvantaged by the difficulty of surviving with such large and conspicuous structures. Wikipedia, Scientific Classification, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Aves, Order Galliformes, Family Phasianidae, Subfamily Pavonina, Tribe Pavonini. June 15th, 2022. Flowing like a river. Featured image, eagle's nest, river and turns. Your life as an artist is like a river. The river is like flowing paint on a canvas. When artists seek to understand their world and themselves, they need to allow their river to flow. When I paint, if I seek for something to happen, it usually doesn't. It is only when I untangle the rights and wrongs and the good and bad within my mind that things begin to manifest. Once untangled, the river begins to flow again. As I let the paint be and allow myself to flow with the work like a river, then and only then am I able to step back and say that it is good. The work flows like a river, it is free. June 16th, 2022. My Girl or the Dreamer. Featured image, 
Dreamer. Is she really anyone's girl? Or is she her own girl? Dreamers usually are their own person. They are called dreamers because they frequently think differently than the accepted norm. They are the paradox to my girl. The dreamer in this painting asks the viewer to consider the assignment of identities to who she is. She, the dreamer, celebrates the full spectrum of life's processes, not just a single identifier. The dreamer thinks deeply about the complicated relationship between perception, subjectivity, and objectivity, and hopes the viewer will also. Perception is the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something through the senses. Subjectivity is the quality of being based on or influenced by personal feelings, tastes, or opinions, and the quality of existing in someone's mind rather than the external world. From the Oxford Online Dictionary. On the other hand, objectivity is the quality of being objective or not influenced by personal feelings or opinions in considering and representing facts and not dependent on the mind for existence. Actual. Oxford Online Dictionary. Dreamers experiment, change, explore, discover subjectivity, and challenge the paradoxes of objectivity. Visit Christine's website at christinealfrey.com to read more musings, or watch them right here on her YouTube page.